Knowledge is like a tool. Someone can teach you how to use it, but if you don't practice using it yourself, you'll soon forget. So to learn anything faster and maintain our knowledge, we need to apply the things we learn to our daily lives. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. My name's Joel, I'm an 18 year old psychology student trying to help people have better lives. And this is my approach using psychology to learn things fast. I'm calling it the apply it to your life method, which consists of two parts. The first is applying what you learn to your life. And the second is applying learning to your life. They sound very similar, but they mean two very different things. So what does it mean to apply what we learn to our life? People often feel that what they learn in a classroom bears no resemblance to their everyday lives. But my response to this is that you have to find a way. This is Herman Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve, which suggests that human memory only retains information for the long term if it is repeatedly exposed to that information. It's probably the most famous graph in forgetting and productivity. With this knowledge, we know that to retain information, we have to be reminded of it often. And this is where applying it to your life comes in. What you need to do is take something you've been learning about and apply it to an activity that you do on a mundane, regular basis. I'll give you an example. Let's think of something psychological. The three types of memory. There's episodic, semantic, and procedural memory. When I'm telling someone a story about something that's happened in the past I've trained this small little voice in my head to come in from time to time and say Joel this is an episodic memory or when I'm telling someone a fact about something I've learned that little voice says Joel this is a semantic memory or when I'm tying my shoelaces that little voice says Joel this is a procedural memory and as weird as that sounds Every time I do these things or say these things, I have this little reminder of a little bit of knowledge that I need to retain. This may sound odd, but it's really powerful in reminding yourself of small pieces of information that you need to know. There's so many ways it can be done. You can imagine Pythagoras' theorem as you walk diagonally across a road. You can think about the cardiac cycle as you feel your heart beating in your chest, and you can think about the charges of sodium and chloride ions when you eat something with salt. I found this technique to be highly effective when I'm trying to stick small small pieces of information into this brain. So that's how we solidify small pieces of information. But what about the bigger stuff? What about the bigger chunks of knowledge, the difficult abstract concepts that you really cannot apply to your life in the outside world? Well, that's where the second part of my learning method comes in, applying learning to your life. This is where I'm gonna go all philosophical on you. The main premise is that you should live your life as an eternal student. You should always be trying to learn because you and I are human beings. And essentially we are born we learn things and then we die. We go about life learning about ourselves, learning about how to interact with the world and other people, and then we leave this earth. Realistically, one of the core principles of life is learning, and your daily routines, your overall philosophy towards the world should reflect that. Even if you aren't an academic, you should always be trying to learn how to do the things you do better. There is no world where you don't have to be learning and innovating constantly in your own life. And what this means is that it's important that you make learning a priority in your schedule. It's not enough to just claim to want to learn things faster or watch YouTube videos like this and not put the time in to learn stuff. I'm gonna have to apologize because I think you clicked on my video in order to find a quick fix to learn some information in a rapid amount of time but reality just doesn't work like that. You can do some small things along the way to help yourself on the journey, but the reality is what it comes down to is how many hours am I willing to put in and how hard am I willing to work? How much do I want to prioritize learning and evolving into my daily routine? You have to really focus on the fundamentals. Are you setting aside time to be better and evolve every day? Are you eating well? Are you sleeping well? Are you stressed? Are you prioritizing the right things because that's often what it comes down to and the great thing is that if you put designated time aside to do deep learning to work hard you'll realize how you personally work harder you'll focus on quality over quantity and it won't become as overwhelming as you might think it does you will out compete the people that cram loads and loads of hours in near an exam or near a deadline because you figured out how to focus how to be patient how to do the right work at the right time that works for your brain and then you will be learning things faster. It's just a slower process than you or I would want to be. Make learning a priority to your approach to life as a whole and you will learn faster. I have no doubts about that. If these two techniques for learning helped you and you want to hear more from me, you can subscribe to my lose letter with the link in the description and you can click on this video where I tell you why you should study psychology. But with that said, thanks for watching 
and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> this is not, not going to plan. Wait, hold on.